in this video i'll talk about exact logistic regression exact logistic regression is a type of logistic regression that is used when your data set has very less number of observation or maybe sometimes your data set is having too many missing uh, observations okay so in such situations we use exact logistic regression we cannot use the normal logistic regression in such cases to illustrate this particular type of uh, logistic regression i have taken a data set uh, named as mortality there are two variables death and dose this is a medical data so based on dose i want to predict whether somebody is going to die or not okay death is my uh, dependent variable and i have got only one independent variable dose you can see on the screen the how the data look like okay uh, so what what if we run a normal logistic regression on this data okay let's see how how the output looks prop logistic data equal to mortality we'll model for the event that is one so we'll use desc descending model equal to death dodge so this is a very simple uh, form of normal logistic regression i assume that uh, you have gone through my video on logistic regression using sas so let's let's run this let's see how the output look like in the global null hypothesis that test whether our model fits the data or not we have three tests right likelihood ratio test score test and wall test you can see the p value for likelihood ratio test and score test are well under 0.5 saying that our model fits the data but the p value for world statistic is 0.14 so that's well above 0.05 right saying that our model doesn't fit the data it's contradictory right the so world statistic says one thing and likelihood test and score test you know say something else okay so this is a signal so the algorithm or the proc logistic algorithm gives us a signal that you haven't used a proper data or proc logistic or this form of proc logistic is not suitable for the data that you have used in the normal form of proc logistic the assumption is that uh we call it a symptotic assumption that you have sufficient number of data but we don't have sufficient number of data uh, in this case as a result of which you can see the uh, p value for the independent variable dose is again well above 0.05 saying that it's an insignificant variable so this output cannot be interpreted we cannot interpret the output how do we model this kind of a data set we model by using the exact logistic regression the syntax for exact logistic regression is similar to the normal logistic regression except that we use the exact keyword and then we mention all the independent variables there 
we have one independent variable so we mention only that variable there and then uh, we write estimate equal to both we get two type of uh, you know statistics significant statistics uh, hence we we have mentioned both let's run this by default you will be given the normal logistic regression output also okay so by default you know at the start of the output you will see the normal logistic regression output but that output cannot be interpretable so you have to straight go to the uh, exact conditional analysis output that is there at the very end okay so what can you see you see that the p value is well under 0 0.05 in the exact conditional uh, logistic regression but we have already seen that when we use normal logistic regression the independent variable is insignificant right but in this case in the exact conditional logistic regression it is coming significant right so there is a change or there is a difference uh, in 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 the way normal logistic regression handles the data and exact logistic regression handles the data okay so parameter estimate is also there as well as the order ratio okay so um, you, you just have to interpret the last portion of this output window you know on the top of it you, you can see exact conditional analysis written down below whatever is there we just need to interpret above that whatever is there it's you know it comes uh, by default uh, we, we don't need to bother about that so that's how we model a data set having very less number of observation uh, 10 observation 5 observation 20 observation we cannot use uh, the normal logistic regression unless of course we have minimum 30 40 even even 30 40 is not very recommendable but at least 30 40 or 50 observation in our data set if we have lesser lesser than that then make sure that you use exact logistic regression